Hello guys, another video. Uh, I got this tuner to repair. It's a digital broadcast tuner, not a satellite stuff. Uh, problem. Does not turn on. So let me pop the lid off and we'll take a look inside. Power supply. You can see based around tiny switch 176PN, which is from power integration, simple switch or family. <coughs> My guess is power surge occurred, and then, like David Freiburger likes to say, BAM! I see he's popped. Yeah, that's it. Uh, besides, I see, I did find. That this transistor looks popped too because it it lacks uh, a bit of plastic plastic package. <laughs> so yeah. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change this uh, IC to a bit larger one, which is pin compatible and pretty much compatible. So I can. It's a bit more powerful version, but. This one is less powerful. I'm gonna change it to a bit powerful version, but the pinout is the same and pretty much all the same. Luckily, I did find the schematic too, so I can find uh, I can test components easily. Z this transistor Z blue. It's a uh, this highlighted stuff is. I think a line under voltage protection. Basically, you can see here through this. Let's see. Let's say positive top of the waveform appears here and negative here. So positive goes through this diode. Negative goes through this diode. Goes to here. So here you can see. So basically, it goes through this diode through this. Two one mega ohm resistors and this for 70k forming a voltage divider. If voltage drops below some value, voltage here drops too. And since this is PNP transistor, if voltage here drops below some value, the currents will start to flow from emitter through out out of base. Turn the transistor on, which in which in this case will pull second pin down and second pin is a power for the chip which is uh, also made using this feedback window which is not drawn here for some reason so it basically shuts down the IC uh, so I'm gonna change that IC change that transistor and we'll see by the way this inductor was here where the wire is now I just took it off and put a little bit of wire connected the power to it and saw if the scene does anything it kind of lights up but I I don't know will it work or not the power surge could theoretically make its way through and damage the chips inside but that's only one way to find out by the way i cannot replace this power supply with a phone charger like 5 volts 1 amp because this sucker is about 10 volts you can see ac 100 to 240 volts 50 60 hertz maximum 10 watts yeah so about 2 amps so to run it nicely you need a 5 volt 2 amp power supply or more anyway I'm gonna change it and if I have any success or failure I'm gonna come back and basically paste two videos together all right so I did replace few parts and what did I replace let's give you a quick look as I mentioned power IC that was tiny one sixty seven if I remember right replaced with tiny two hundred seventy eight which is more powerful version works fine I tested it 
replace this transistor, it's a general purpose PNP transistor, as well as this diode in DO35 package. Uh, that was uh, kind of like 1N4148. As well, I tested a um, few other components, all seemed good. And I plugged it in with 15 watt ballast, seems, seemed all right. And then I uh, up upgraded to 40 watt ballast. It was all right, then I basically plugged it straight in, connected to an antenna, uh, connected to a TV set, and it works. So great. Uh, low parts count, and it works fine. So I replaced three parts, if not counting the makeshift fuse. Three parts, and it's back to life. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.